Definitely want to show you what this looks like on the receptacle end. We fixed up the other end in the last video where I snaked the wire through the wall to the junction box. And this is the other end. It was for the garage door opener, but I couldn't get there that day because the lady's car was here. Plus I got other stuff to do. So I figured I would check it out the next trip so we didn't have to move the car twice. Here's what I found. All right, so it's just coming right out of the ceiling there. Not a big deal, but there's no connector going into the box. And then the length of the conductors is not adequate to work with. So that's another code violation. And then of course the red wire was just not used as predicted. And let's see, if the ground was even connected. I don't think the ground was even connected. Oh, here's the ground, but it looks like Here's the ground. It looks like it fell off. Came disattached. It was here. See, because it would reach that right there. See that? That's how I know that. It came apart. No big deal, right? So this whole thing then, there was a problem. No longer grounded. No longer bonded to the system and could become energized. Alrighty. Without this equipment ground, bonding not only the receptacle, but bonding the box, which of course is mechanically fastened to the back so all this metal if it conduct electricity it would if it could so there'd be no means there'd be no means to clear that ground fault because guess what there is no ground fault if it's not connected Did we get that on tape? Right, so what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do, is I'm just gonna cut it in an old work box right here, put this right into the old work box, connect a new receptacle to it, boom, done, clean. A little aggressive cut there. <laughs> <laughs> 